Hey guys, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We are continuing with our preparation series on GATE UGC NET Computer Science related subjects and we are doing all these questions subject wise to help you in your exams. Today we will solve to a question on database management system and the question is about timestamps, deadlocks and starvation. So uh, let's get started with the question. The question says that in a database system, unique timestamps are assigned to each transaction using Lamport's logical clock. Let TS of T1 and TS of T2 be the timestamps of transactions T1 and T2 respectively. Besides, T1 holds a lock on the resource R and T2 requests a conflicting lock on the same resource R. The following algo is used to prevent deadlocks in database system assuming that a killed transaction is restarted with the same timestamp. This is the algo that is given to you. If the timestamp of T2 is less than timestamp of T1, that means TS is older than T1, then T1 gets killed, else T2 waits. Assume any transaction that is not killed terminates eventually. Which one of the following is true about the database system that uses the starvation the above algorithm to prevent deadlocks and you have to choose among the options whether the system is deadlock free starvation free none of them or either of them so first of all lamport's logical clock if the timestamps are assigned to transaction using lamport's logical clock this simply means that the timestamps are given to the transactions in the order in which they appear so a transaction coming first will have a lesser or a lower timestamp as compared to the transaction that is coming later all right now besides this you have to understand this algorithm or uh, when you read this algorithm it should be clear to you that a older transaction will always kill or wound a younger transaction that means this is a wound weight scheme that is given to you and in a wound weight scheme whenever two transactions are fighting or uh, uh, requesting for the same resource then the transaction that is older or that came before will get the uh, hold of the resource and the younger transaction is killed so when i write timestamp of t2 is less than timestamp of t1 this means that t2 is older transaction t1 is the younger transaction and every time the younger transaction t1 is killed if it is fighting with the older transaction for the same resource that means uh, always the older transaction will get the hold of the resource all right so now when t1 is killed it is necessary that it should be restarted and the important thing is that it is restarted with the same timestamp so when a transaction is restarted with the same timestamp and it will ask for the same resource again it will not starve that means there won't be a situation when this t1 which was killed earlier when it is restarted it is again being killed because at that time t1 would become older as compared to other transactions that have been loaded into the system after t1 that means t1 would get eventually get the hold of this resource because when once t1 is killed and it is restarted again at that time t1 will become older as compared to other transactions that may be fighting for the same resource so t1 will never starve or any transaction that was initially killed will never starve and a system that does not starve implies that there is no deadlock all right a system with no starvation means a system with no deadlock so in this kind of system two things you have to identify that it is a wound weight timestamp ordering or deadlock prevention mechanism in which since the younger transaction or the kill transaction is restarted with the same timestamp it will eventually get hold of the resource and the system will neither be deadlocked nor it will suffer from starvation 
so the correct answer is d all right so that was all for today's lecture uh, please if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment section below tell us how did you like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes for more lectures on the preparation series for gate ugc net and bank it officer exams and other computer science related subjects thank you for watching